Hello to Year 12 at St Philip's School. My name is Killian. I'm talking to you from NCS, the National Citizen Service. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can get involved in the autumn October half term NCS program. Now, it's a really exciting opportunity for yourselves, and I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to bring to the autumn program. Now, it's a shame I can't be in your school today, meeting you, getting to know you, talking to you, but this is the next best thing, and I'd just like to thank your teacher, Miss Skidmore, for letting me talk to you today. Now, one of the whole points of NCS is that it's going to make you really confident for the future. So you guys will be going to college next or whatever it is that you want to do. It's going to help you be the best you can and give you lots of new skills and confidence and have a little bit of fun as well. So what are you going to be getting up to? NCS is a week full of fun, exciting activities. So we begin the week with some outdoor adventure activities. So you could be doing something like rock climbing, if it's safe to do so, maybe some water sports based activity. Potentially you could be doing some archery. If not, you'll be doing something outside with your new teammates, having a lot of fun getting to know each other. And that's a really great way to start the program and ease yourself in and just get to know everybody in your team. Then over the next couple of days, we run some workshops and some lessons where we think about some soft skills and getting you ready for your future. So we do workshops like public speaking, we do CV building where we get you to think about skills and experiences that you can put on your CV for when you get your part-time jobs in the future. We also do a money management workshop, which gets you to think about how you want to spend your money and what you can do with it, all those exciting things. And we also run a little business skills workshop as well. So if you've got any great ideas, which I'm sure lots of you have, I remember meeting a few of you last year and you were all very creative and had some good ideas. You get to pitch that to our panel, to our dragons. And if they like it, they'll give you some funds towards your business idea, which is really exciting. So those are about two to three days worth of workshops. And then at the end of the week, one of the best things about NCS is that we run a social action project. So in your teams, you will go out into your local borough or your community and you will raise awareness for a social cause that you are interested in. So it could be something to do with the environment. It could be raising money for a charity. Maybe you're interested in fighting against homelessness um, or maybe you just want to redo and re change a part of your community. Well, whatever it is that you are interested in, you get to do that in your groups, which is really exciting because it's a great way to get to know your local community, meet locals and make a real impact. And of course, you are bettering yourselves for the future that way, but also changing your surroundings too. On the screen now are some examples of social action projects that young people worked on in London this summer. So one group of NCSs campaigned against knife crime in London, which is a real problem. That was called the Lives Not Knives movement. Another group took a more creative approach and they created a podcast called Youth Rising, where they talked about issues that affected them as young people and how they saw themselves in society in the future. That was really popular, listened to by lots of young people and adults as well, and was uploaded to the Apple Store playlist, which was really cool too. Another group decided to petition against the government who wanted to start charging you as young people on your Easter cards to travel again. That was called Don't Zap the Zip. So they went out into their local community, told locals all about it, and got a little, a little petition signed and sent that back off to the government. They also made a really cool Instagram page as well, which has lots of followers. So do go check that out. But as I said, this is really about what you want to do and what changes that you want to see. So how much is a place on the programme for NCS? Well, believe it or not, it's free. 
which is really great. So you don't have to pay a single penny, nothing towards going on NCS this autumn, which is really great. Because soon you will be paying all sorts of money, whether that's a tax or some sort of educational loan. So while you can, and it costs nothing at all, grab the opportunity with both hands. When is the NCS Autumn Programme? It begins in the October half term on Monday the 26th and all the activities will run through for a whole week, seven days to Sunday the 1st of November. It's a week full of lots of fun, it will absolutely whiz by and it's really good as well because you're going to be using your time wisely too. And plus you get to be outside again um, and meet lots of new people as well. So how do you sign up? Hopefully you're watching this video thinking, hmm, I'm interested, I want to know a little bit more. I might put my name forward for this. I've got nothing to lose. Well, you can go to our website, wearencs.com. And if you go to the top right hand corner of the page, there's a big green sign up button, where if you click on that, it will take you to our sign up form. And there, all you need to do is put in your information, your name, your address, your school that you go to, and also put in your parents or your guardians or your carers information, and then that's it. You are signed up for the autumn program. That is all you have to do, and then we will send you an email as well, and you're sorted. Your parents will also receive an email too, which is they will be sent a medical form. So you need to make sure they see that medical form. Sometimes it will go into their junk email. So just check it's not in there. And they need to fill it out and send it back to us. And that's to make sure that you are safe on the program and you're gonna have a really good time as well. Alternatively, on the screen, you can see a QR code. You can get out your phones and using your phone camera, you can scan that and that will equally take you to the sign up page where again, if you put in all your information, um, it will mean you are ready to go for this autumn half term. It doesn't take very long at all. You can do it tonight, maybe while you're watching TV, having dinner. If you have a spare study period, maybe you could do it then. Um, talk to those around you, see what those guys are saying, and you can all go together as well. Now, as I've said, hopefully, NCS is a really exciting programme. It gives you the opportunity to have a lot of fun, meet lots of new people, make you really confident for the future as well, and just have a really good time. So I really look forward to hopefully seeing some of you on NCS this October half term. And I'd just like to thank your teacher again, Miss Skidmore, for letting me talk to you today. Um, if we have any questions, um, I will be very happy to answer to, uh, to them for you. So please do ask away and I will make sure I answer them. So I'm just going to end this video with a short clip that some young people help us made and it tells a story of what they did with their lives after lockdown. Thank you so much for listening. When the time comes again to step out freely into the world, all my friends who held me down You'll be the first I holler at, to link up with. We'll be face to face again to say things we couldn't say behind a screen. I've made a list of all the places we said we'll visit. Let's see how far our legs take us to that lake. Those woods. All that precious greenery we said will help protect in our fight for a better climate. Can phase us. When we're told no, you can't, we say no, we can. Even when we're back at school, we'll have a better time since we spent so many days indoors. Becoming our own teachers, picking up new skills, learning more about who we are as individuals, as siblings, as a family. From now on, every person in my neighbourhood is my cousin. Only family stick together through tough times, like my community did. Shout out to those who lived a life locked down. Shout out to the frontliners. Shout out to those who stood for equality. Shout out to those fueled with hope and joy. And, and now, now together, together we're, we're ready, ready to, to rebuild, rebuild the world. world.
As we approach the end of lockdown, I think we can all agree that it's been very difficult, but we can also agree that we have all learned very important things over this period of time. I hope that we all remember, despite being far apart, we all came together to form one big community. The fact that this has taken away some things that we can't get back, I'd like to think that would make us appreciate everything a bit more. Uh, after the lockdown, I'm going to look to get to my best friend's house and take in a really nice view of the city. And I really hope the world is a more united place after it. We're all human and in this together. So I hope the world will never be the same, but better.